Hi, Chris O'Nanian here today. Today's video is 15 rare or hard to find discontinued men's colognes fragrances. So stay tuned and watch what I have to show you. Let's just dive right in. The first one is Canali Summer Night from 2005. I call this the Pineapple Sea Breeze scent. It's got warm ambers and woods enriched by sea breezes, leafy greens, and violet notes. Mandarin, bergamot, coriander, cardamom, nutmeg, pineapple, melon, so many ingredients in this. Then you got the florals, the lily of the valley to give it that fresh scent, and the orange blossom that gives it that touch of sweet citrus. All mixed together, finishing off with the tonka, leather musk, vetiver, and many other ingredients. You know how you feel if you've been to the beach all day? You Maybe you're on a vacation and you're in a tropical setting. So you got all that sunlight, the suntan, the sand, the ocean air. You come in, it's 4 o'clock, you, you shower off, and then you're all refreshed. This is the feeling you get. And then you spray this cologne on. This is that fruity scent at first blast that you'll get. Then it dries down. By the time you get to dinner, it's, the sun is setting. It gives it that lovely tonka leather musk sandalwood, which brings it a more fresh woody scent. Highly recommend this Canali Summer if you can find it. Canali Summer Night, released in 2005. Number two is True Religion Signature for Men. I could only find this little mini bottle. It was released in 2009. It's like leather and metal and fresh citruses combined together. Well, I used to wear this in 2009. It was like a fresh to death scent. Sadly, it's discontinued, but you can find you can find them around 100 bucks maybe on the internet. Look on eBay, of course. It's got that cucumber odd note that makes it so fresh and well blended with the darker leather notes. Number three, we have Hollister, California, 1922. This one was even hard to find information on. I had a bottle, but I got rid of it. It was a beachy scent with woods and fresh notes. The only place I could find this one was on eBay, right around $100, $150. Number four is one of my favorites, Emporio Armani White. It did come in a white box and it has this red box as well. The, this thing was a masterpiece. I used to wear it. It's got mandarin, orange, bergamot, lemon, rosemary, cardamom. So fresh and clean. It's got a little touch of powder as I can remember it. They had these prices are well over $200 for these now. I would strongly recommend if you're a collector to buy this. If you're not, you just want to smell something like it, you get D-squared Rocky Mountain Wood, which smells similar to this rare gem. These Emporio Armani White is like a day version of Armani Code, which has more oomph to it and more spice and strength, so the white's a lighter version of it. Number five, Cesar Man, Cesar Man's. They keep talking that this was the spirit of Caesar's Cologne. Well, as I can remember it, I was there when they built the Las Vegas Hotel, which is where they got this Caesar Cologne from, and they painted the ceilings with a cloud and skyline. It was very unique there, their mall. They had a mall that they painted the ceilings with clouds and all these little stands were selling to Caesar Man Cologne. These gift sets were like 50 bucks. The bottles were like 35, four ounce bottles. It was a great deal back then. Now you're looking way, well over $100 for a big bottle of this. Anyway, some of the notes are like totally 80s vibe, patchouli, oak moss, rosemary, you know, one of those barber shop truck car noir type scents. I really like this fragrance. If you like that barbershop type scent and you can find it on a good deal, grab this one. Next up we have Izod, number six, this blue bottle. I actually have one that's unopened here, it's just called Izod. Philips Van Heusen made it. 
It's lime, grapefruit, lavender, mint, cucumber, tobacco. Those are just some of the headliner notes in it. It's a nice, fruity, fresh, with the musky dry down. You get lots of compliments when you wear this. It used to be found real cheap in the budget stores like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. You might still find someone who doesn't know the value of it. Find this eyes out and grab it. It's a great everyday summer scent, fresh scent. Awesome. Number seven is Cartier Santos de Cartier, the concentrate edition with the gold top like this one has it. It came out in 1982. The other one was, was just called Santos, came out in 1981. Totally 80s vibe cologne again, totally strong, masculine. There are many versions and batches made of both of these Santos. This one is a little bit harder to find with the gold top like this. Cartier Santos Eau de Concentrate. And number eight, we have 2004's Romeo Gili Man. It's a warm, sexy, clean fragrance. Alberto Marias created this scent. He also created half of the world's most mass appealing fragrances. You know, like Calvin Klein, Armani, Bulgari, and Mercedes, just to name a few. He's a world cat class perfumer, and he made this scent. You got bergamot, yutsu, that, that type of lemon in here, geranium, sandalwood, musk, even mandarin orange. Yutsu is from the Orient, very similar to lemon. So overall, this is a nice woodsy citrus scent with a touch of sweet florals. On the box, if you see, there's a poem written in French and uh, I translated it in English. It says, I shall not speak, shall think about nothing but endless love will mount in my soul and I shall travel far, very far like a gypsy through the, cut, through the countryside as happy as if I were with a woman. And that's the translation of the French poem written all over the box and bottle. Number nine. Oh Sauvage Oh Extreme by Christian Dior. A fragrance from 1984, just like all the other 80s fragrances. It has all the hides and patchouli and musk. Very dark but fresh, original Sauvage right here. The Extreme version. Very, very hard to find. This fragrance is very hard to find. Probably around 115 to 150 if you find this white box one. But even harder to find is the original, which I don't even have it brown box oh so vage extreme then you're talking about three four five hundred dollars on all the auction sites number 10 real cool Barry Mugler Angel Iceman it's called it's an ice cold frozen wood scent cafe frappuccino musk and fruit frosted nutmeg patchouli and iced coffee a kind of angel type fragrance but it's called Iceman Number 11, Burberry Summer for Man. Nope, not the 20, 15, 16, or 17, $20 ones you find, or 30. This is the 2011 edition, much it's like night and day compared to what they have out today. Mandarin, Yuzu, Juniper, Thyme, Mint make up this fine, fun summer classic to represent, is what they said, to represent the early mornings in, in Great Britain got a cedar sandalwood musk base. The light, playful, fresh, elegant, citrus type fragrance that you will just say, darn it smells good. It's very good and clean. All kinds of compliments. Find this 2011 Burberry Summer. It's so easy to wear. It's non-offensive, everyday scent. If you're buying blindly, I highly recommend it. And I authorize you to purchase this wherever you want. It smells so good. The they don't make them like this anymore type fragrance. Lasts a nice five hours long. You'll get tons of compliments. I give this two thumbs up and a nine rating. It's good, just so good. This Brioni Man came out in 2014 and when they brought it out, they already put it in like limited distribution. 
and they showcases the brand when they made this fragrance by using the highest quality ingredients and processes. It's got a, it's a very well made cedar sandalwood scent that lasts all day. Brioni suits, Brioni men, cologne, high end, that type of feeling. Number 13, I wanted to put this on the list. It's kind of easy to find, but kind of harder to find, but it's cheap. It's called Classic Banana Republic, a citrus fresh floral, which you can find under $20 these days. Probably the easiest, the easiest of this whole entire list to find and the best price. So I thought I wanted to show you this Classic Banana Republic. This is classified as a unisex fragrance with all its fresh florals. Either way, it smells so darn good for the price. I highly recommend this, highly recommend it. Number 14, none other than Avon made this. It's called RPM. Avon made many RPM flankers. I don't know the name. Some of them are called high speed or intense. This one's simply called RPM between 2002 to 2004 these came out and it's, it's a mediocre sporty scent fragrance it is hard to find but if you do find it, it should be paying right around 25 to 30 dollars totally sporty citrus easy to wear scent it lasts a nice long time too finally we finish this with number 15 Number 15 is Guess Suede for Man. The last one is called Guess Suede for Man. Found all over the internet for ridiculous prices, anywhere from $50 to $150. Sweet suede pineapple spice fragrance. Very fresh, lots of compliments, very good quality. Longevity is above average. I highly recommend this if you can find it at a decent price. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching this 15 rare or hard to find videos. Check the link down below to see the list. Also, I want to shout out to some of my subscribers. I want to thank all of you for watching this. I really, I really appreciate it. Sometimes it can be quite challenging to try to grow a small channel. So there are a few members that every week they comment down below. And off the top of my head, one of the guys' name is OG Athletics. There's a guy named I'm Rich Bitch, another guy named The Mogul, another guy named Yamaguchi, and uh, some other you. Thank you very much for every week commenting, watching, and liking the video. Please do the same if you're new to this channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Chris O'Neill, out.